Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining in today. Um, so I'm cooking some gumbo here. Um, this is gonna be chicken and sausage gumbo, but I talk about ways to incorporate crappie um, and seafood uh, in there. And uh, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, most of my stuff is gonna be about crappie fishing. It's just the way it is. Um, I will throw some other fishing things in there. Um, you know, some of my wounded warrior hunts and, and, and cooking. I love to cook. That's my passion. Never trust a skinny cook, and I'm not skinny. You know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, thanks for, for, uh, for watching. Hey guys, it's Chris with the Sleep of the Real, and uh, you know we're all about crappie fishing. But uh, today, uh, I grew up in South Louisiana, and uh, I'm Cajun. You can't tell it by the accent, but when I get back down there, I start talking funny. So um, today, we're going to uh, make a Cajun gumbo. Um, I am doing chicken and sausage today, but uh, a seafood gumbo you can actually put crappie in, and it's pretty pretty good. So some people don't like crab meat, and crappie is actually a very good substitute for crab. It has the same texture. Once you steam it, if you'll just put the fish in there, steam it, uh, put two or three, four fillets, whatever, steam it, and then take a fork and just kind of flake it out, drop it in the gumbo, and it's amazing. But I'm gonna show y'all how I make it, and uh, kind of go from there. So I've already started uh, here. So I've got chicken, show you, I got chicken boiling. And uh, I'll get the chicken boiled for till it's almost ready, and uh, probably 15, 10 minutes somewhere in there, and then I'll pull it out, uh, put it in the water, and let it uh, cool down so I can shred it. Um, I'm putting, I use a food processor as you can see here, um, just to get stuff a little lighter. This, so this is bell pepper. I uh, have some green onion in here that did not already, uh, did not use the uh, food process processor on. I do a andouille sausage uh, by Savoise. And then I use a, just a regular sausage that is going to be uh, a smoked flavor, a smoked sausage. And that gives a little extra flavoring to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this, the onion, the celery, uh, I've got a uh, jalapeno pepper. I put a, or I actually put two jalapenos in this, and then uh, I'll kind of show you the rest of what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window too, so y'all can see. But hey, gotta like that. Perfect apron for a military man. All right, guys, uh, y'all hang in there, and uh, we'll do this step by step, and uh, let you see what it looks like. All right, so I got my bell pepper or my uh, jalapenos. Did not take the seeds out, but I uh, normally do. And so we'll get these to a consistency like this. Just basically little chunks and drop that in. Woo, those are powerful. Let's go with celery here, Cajun staple. Guys, this is gonna make a big old pot. So what I do is I freeze it once I'm finished eating on it for a day or two. And uh, that's probably good right there. I don't have a recipe for this, I just kind of make it. Um,
Shot pretty good. Yes, I do the whole large onion. Got that on the floor. Pick that up before the wife gets home. So basically, I just go ahead and liquefy. The onion, it's a lot easier. Those pieces are hard to to really get chopped up. The thing is I'm not losing flavoring, I'm not losing liquid because it's all going in there. All right, so the one thing guys that I don't have, uh, I've gotta go back to the store to get it, is okra. I do put okra in mine. Um, I have found the frozen okra works the best. Uh, the reason that is, um, a lot of people don't like the slime and uh, when it's frozen, if you put it into boiling water, it pretty much doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't slime. So uh, anyway, we, yeah, we've got that, and uh, that will be coming this afternoon, because I don't have to go to the store first, but anyway. All right, guys, so one of the things that I, I do uh, is I don't make my own roux anymore. Uh, used to, takes a long time, and quite honestly, I found this roux. Uh, let's see, it. take a look at that. This tastes exactly like mine. So why would I do that? Why would I make roux when I just have this? You know, all I gotta do is spoon it in, stir it up for about, well, four or five minutes, and uh, let make sure it doesn't burn, and then add everything else into it, make it great. All right, guys, so this is my next step. <clears throat> Grabbing the chicken. Basically, I'm just gonna spoon it out. And uh, this cooked a little bit longer than I like it, but we're okay. So uh, I'm going to throw some cold water on it here in a second. Just let it cool down. And then we're going to use the broth from what we just did to make the gumbo with. I think that's all of it. Yep. All right, now it's time to turn that back on, put it on high. I'm gonna well, I've got this this roux now, and uh, you see it's got a lot of juice in it, a lot of oil, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. Just basically scoop it out, guys. This is just like a real roux. Uh, it what is a real roux? Um, I said it tastes just like mine. I wish you can smell it. See inside there. But, uh, smells like crap, but that's good because, uh, it's going to taste awesome after a while. So I'm just going to scoop the entire can of this. Next thing we do, I'm going to add some, uh, chicken broth to it. I got two of these. I may add another one. We'll see what happens. Continually stir this thing. Now's the time. Add some salt. Add a little pepper. That looks good. 
I forgot to buy parsley, so I'm using parsley flakes. Oh, that looks good. And then I use the minced garlic. So I'll grab two two big spoons of it to start with. I may add, have to add more later. And sit there and stir it. So you're gonna find clumps in there. Let's see if I can get one. Like that. You know, you just stir until it's all gone. If you don't, it will burn. Okay, see where we're at. Oh yeah, that's sound or tasting good. So guys, I do this all the time. So I don't have measurements. I don't know how to measure this thing um, you know, for a recipe, but I know good and well that when I put the chicken in, when I put the vegetables in, it should be right right in here. So what I'm gonna do. I've held off in the second uh, chicken broth, and uh, once I put everything in there, if I need to put more liquid, I will at that point. So at this point, okay, this time, <clears throat> time to put the vegetables in. Guys, I do put tomatoes in there. Uh, That's something I started. I just love tomatoes, and um, anyway, it's not always the Cajun thing, but I think it's good. I've had a lot of people that are Cajuns get mad at me until they taste it and then it's a whole different story oh yeah we're looking good all right let's do one more little taste so the important thing is i didn't put these vegetables in until the roux was totally dissolved because you don't want to be squashing the vegetables and the meat and everything else it's just hard to tell if it's really done oh yeah all right, so I'm not gonna do this whole thing in front of you guys, but turn the water on a little bit because these are warm still. Basically, I'm just gonna shred this chicken like this, and then we'll dump it all in there and get ready to eat it. chicken in you see it's just getting to a boil this thing stirred up a little there so guys at this point uh, we just closed the lid uh, got it all ready to go you see it's starting to boil as soon as it starts boiling I'm gonna turn it back down to uh, kind of low just let it simmer for about three four hours um, that's really all I have to do to this uh, we'll probably put a little bit more of the chicken broth in and uh, just kind of let it cook in a little bit more it looks like it's a little bit low but um, at this point though is this is where I normally if I'm doing a seafood gumbo this is where I put when I just put the meat in the chicken this is where I'll put the shrimp the alligator the uh, oyster um, put crawfish if I have them uh, crab um, this is where I was getting in with a crappie or the or the bass didn't work that well crappie is a good flaky fish uh, when it's steamed you steam it uh, you want to put orange roughy in uh, any of those flaky fish uh, the flaky uh, flaky meat that's perfect for a consistency in here some people just don't like uh, crab um, and but they like the consistency of it don't like the taste of it so the fish works great in there so uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll come back after this is cooked for a while, uh, make a bowl, let you guys take a look at it and see what you think. And uh, unfortunately, you can't cook it or you can't eat it, but my neighbors will. My neighbors love me, and <laughs> every time I cook, I can't cook small with anything. I cook large, so I always have leftovers. So the neighbors or the family, somebody gets it. So uh, if you're local and you see this, let me know. I will take a lot of this stuff 
Um, I'll eat on it for a day or two, then I'll put it in little bowls and freeze it. Um, stick it in the microwave for 10 minutes. Uh, by that time, your rice is almost done, and it's great to, to use. So anyway, uh, we'll check back after a while, see what it looks like. At this point, we're going to let this cook for about three hours. Uh, I've got it up to boil. I'm going to turn it back down to uh, just a low, let it, uh, let it simmer. And, uh, you know, it's a big old pot. I'm going to add a little bit more chicken broth in there after a while. Um, so I may have to adjust the spices, add a little more. Probably don't need more salt, but I may have to do a little more uh, garlic. And uh, so at this point, this is where I would normally, if I'm doing a seafood gumbo, um, I would normally put the shrimp, uh, put the oysters, uh, I have alligator, I put in there, um, I put crab meat, uh, put crappie, uh, like I said, steam it. It's a lot better to steam the fish first and then drop it in there. Um, it just gives it a better texture when it's steamed. And uh, okra and, yeah, cook it and eat it. So. Uh, well, uh, once it's finished, I'll make a bowl. I'll show you that. And, uh, All right, everybody, there, so. it is time to eat. So, let me just show you here. So, I've got one ahead made rice. So we got jasmine rice. Uh, it's all ready to go. Let's grab some gumbo. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a mess here, I'm sure. Let me see if I can't. Sorry, guys. I need more hands. There we go. I liked a lot of juice. Hey, y'all don't mess with my bowls. My wife thinks these are the ugliest bowls in the world. And they are. I'm not going to lie to you. But they are they are great because I don't have to worry about heat. Too bad. Get a little chicken in there. All right. Come back over here. Now, this is the trick. So, me being Cajun, got to throw a lot of... Tabasco in there. Sorry. A little red pepper. Mix it all up. Mmm. I don't use potato salad. Sorry. Let's take a bite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. So, guys, there's how you make gumbo. Sorry, rice. There's how you make gumbo. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. Hope you all did. Bye.